the homework for section 11.6. The first six problems, uh, they want us to, to match up the equation with the graph. So let's take uh, the first one. Number one is the definition of the equation looks exactly like an ellipsoid. So if we match that one up, that's going to be C. Number two, 15 x squared minus 4 y squared plus 15 z squared is equal to negative 4. Well, if we divide everything by a negative uh, 4, and then I'm going to write that y squared first, so that's y squared minus 15x squared all over 4 minus 15z squared over 4 is equal to 1. So according to the, the basic structure of this equation, uh, this looks like um, hyperboloid of two sheets. And the axis of the hyperboloid is with respect to the, the, the variable with the positive coefficient. So just say here, y axis. So we go up and look to see if we could find uh, that graph for the hyperboloid of two sheets uh, with respect to the y axis. It looks like this is E. Number three, four x squared minus y squared plus four z squared is equal to four. Uh, dividing through by a four, so we end up with x squared, I'm going to write that z squared there, minus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Hyperboloid of one sheet. And the axis of the hyperboloid is with respect to the variable with the negative coefficient. That will be y. So y axis. And so we look for the graph up top that resembles, see this is the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, so the hyperboloid of, uh, of one sheet with respect to the y-axis should look ideally like that. So we look up top for that and that looks like F. Mm -hmm. So number four, uh, y squared is equal to 4x squared plus 9z squared. Make sure I got that right. Yep. This is the problem here. And so if we just get everything on one side, if you will, 
doesn't matter which way you do it. So let's see here, four x squared plus nine z squared, excuse me, minus y squared. minus y squared is equal to 0. And so um, if you look back at uh, all the, the six uh, quadric surfaces, uh, this image would parallel to the so-called elliptic cone. And the axis of uh, the ellipses with respect to the variable with the negative coefficient, so here, the y-axis. So we, we have the graph of, of this guy. It's going to do that. And we'll look above to see if we can find that image with respect to the y-axis, that's B. Number five. So number five is 4x squared minus 4y plus z squared equal to zero. Maybe I should use my book because I've got the image over here. It's so number five, four x squared minus minus four y minus four y plus z squared is equal to zero. We're going to isolate uh, the variable um, that has the uh, first power to it. So we do that, so this implies that 4y is equal to 4x squared plus z squared. So y is equal to x squared plus z squared over 4. And so this is the equation that we have. And this is the uh, elliptic uh, paraboloid. And its graph should be associated in this form. So here, the variable that's with the, the first power, this paraboloid, traces with respect to there. And so it is no more than just um, uh, a parabola. And so you go up top and you find that image. That's D. And then number six, uh, 4x squared minus y squared, 4x squared minus y squared plus 4z is equal to zero. So we get the, uh, the z by itself. Well, here we just get 4z by itself first. So that's equal to y squared <coughs> minus 4x squared. And then z is equal to y squared over 4 minus x squared. So 
this equation matches up with uh, the so-called um, uh, it's a paraboloid, it's the hyperbolic paraboloid. And its graph should be of this form. It's no more than just a saddle. Let's see. Uh, next, we consider We consider uh, so-called surfaces here, and, and we're asked to uh, to graph and to describe what they are. So number seven, y equal to five, is a plane. Now its rulings. With respect to the variable, the variables that's omitted in the equation, well, well x and uh, uh, x and z. So with respect to the x z plane. So we find y equal to 5, and we draw a plane there. Number nine, y square plus z square is equal to nine. This is a cylinder. So now the, the the cylinder consists of two things. It's a generating curve and then the rulings. So here the generating curve is a circle. That is y squared plus z squared equals to 3 to the second. With rulings parallel to the verbal that's missing in this equation is z. This is parallel to the, uh, excuse me, x. Ugh, I can't see. To the x axis. So we, we draw this guy. So the, the radius is 3, and you can do the little dash marks if you want. Um, and we look at the x-axis, we go there and we draw a circle. We 
we draw a circle there and then we connect the circle with the rulings and I think that I can see no, I'm just going to mess it up right <gasps> There was one problem, I do recall. It's not in the book, but you may have one for your homework. Um, for um, in Web Assign. And this problem, simply, they give you a quadric surface written in its general form, standard form. Then from there, you must determine uh, what equation is that and then graph. So. Determine the equation. And graph. So we're given this guy, 16x squared plus 9y squared plus 16z squared minus 32x minus 36y plus 36 equals to 0. So to do this, we must complete the square. collect like terms together, so 16x squared minus 32x plus 9y squared minus 36y plus 16z squared plus 36 equal to 0. Rule of factoring, factor out 16 here. In fact, that a nine from these two terms. Just rewrite everything else. Complete the square on x for the first part, then complete the square on y over here. So this is 16 times parentheses x squared minus 2x, take half of the coefficient of x, which is 2, take half of that, we get 1, square it, so we have plus 1, then it's minus 1, okay, so we have not harmed the problem, we just added a sophisticated 0, this is y, well 9, excuse me, times the expression y squared minus 4y, take the coefficient of y, is 4, negative 4, take half of that, you get 2, square that, so we get 4, you add a 4 and subtract a 4 within the parentheses, close that up, plus 16z squared plus 36 is equal to 0. Take the negative part out, you can factor what's left, so this is x minus 1 to be squared, negative 1 times 16 is negative 16 plus 9 times y squared minus 4y plus y is factored into y minus 2 to be squared. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 on the outside. Plus 16z squared plus 36 equal to 0. Okay, so let's see. Those numbers there cancel out. So we have 16 times x minus 1 to be squared. I'm going to take the minus 16 and add that to both sides. So this is plus 9 times y minus 
2 to be squared plus 16 z squared is equal to 16. Now divide through by 16, so we have x minus 1 to be squared, yes, plus 9 times y minus 2 to be squared all over 16 plus z squared equal to 1. Oops. So, what is this? It's not a circle, a, s a circle or a sphere. Your denominator terms would have to all be the same. So if this was a, a one here, then it would be a sphere. So this guy is an ellipsoid. Now, let's make sure we can identify what's happening. This is x minus 1 to be squared over 1 squared plus y minus 2 to be squared all over 4 over 3 to be squared plus z squared over 1 squared is equal to 1. If you go back and look at how how we define the definition for the basic shape for an ellipsoid is it's like x minus x naught to be squared over a squared plus y minus y naught to be squared over b squared plus uh, z minus uh, z naught to be squared over c squared. Right? There's a twos there. That's a two. I mean, don't mess up the whole thing. It's a two. Two there. All right, good. So A is equal to 1. B is equal to 4 thirds, a little bit over 1. C is equal to 1. The center is 1, 2, 0. So now we just given the task to, to draw this. The elongation is the, the, with respect to the axis, with the term in the denominator, that's the largest. So here, the elongation is with respect to the y-axis. So x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. The center is at uh, 1 for x, 2 for y, and then z is 0. So we connect that over. So that's the center. the only point that I need. See if I can erase it without messing up everything. I don't need the other stuff. Yeah, I just messed it up, I tell you. It burns me up. So this is the unit of one, unit one, unit two. So we come over one, so about right there. Just do that. Okay. So that's the center of this uh, so-called um, ellipsoid, and it's running a little bit longer with respect to the the y-axis. And that's how I'm gonna gonna draw that. Okay. So the center is not at the origin. The center is right there where that dot is. Okay. Thank you.